Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I want to make some vegetable soup today because I've been thinking with everything that's going on over in Russia and Ukraine, uh, if things were to get really bad, uh, I know that we have no control over that and I don't doubt that the Lord will take care of us, but sometimes I think He also expects us to prepare for ourselves. So I want to make this and can it in jars so that should anything really bad take place in our country, uh, we would at least have food that we could open up a jar and eat if we needed to. Plus, it's just really convenient to have in jars. You don't have to wait for anything to thaw out. Uh, I have put it in the freezer before, and then you've got to wait for it to thaw. And But when it's jarred, take it right out of the jar, heat it up, and eat it. So I want to get started, and I want to explain to you what I'm going to use in my vegetable soup. I am going to use vegetables that I have canned and put in my freezer and canned. These are tomatoes that I have canned and uh, put in jars. I actually did these in 2018, and they're still good. There's nothing wrong with these tomatoes. And so I'm going to be using those. I have... Um, I have peas that I have put in my freezer that I've thawed, and butter beans. I have okra that I have canned, uh, put in the freezer. And then, of course, my cream corn that I do, uh, I'm going to use that. But I'm also going to use whole kernel corn uh, from the grocery store in a can. I've got a couple of cans of those, and I've got a couple of cans of green beans. Uh, I have green beans that I've canned that's in jars, but I don't want to use those for my soup. I'm going to use this instead because I want to save those. We, we enjoy eating those, and so I want to save them. I will probably be using this can of tomato sauce, and I have a couple of packets of the Lipton onion soup that I'm going to add to my soup. I have cut up my, to, my uh, carrots, I've got carrots sliced that I'm going to add to my soup. And I have four pounds of ground chuck. This is one pack, and I have a pack here that's open uh, that I just opened. I'm going to put in the pan. I'm going to fry my, my meat first. I want to get my ground beef cooked. Then I will add it to my large pot and cook my soup. And so let me get started. Okay, I'm going to turn this on high and start browning my ground chuck. It is going to be really cold here tonight and even colder tomorrow night. Uh, it's supposed to be 30 tonight with the wind chill in the low 20s and all of my citrus trees are in full bloom. I am just sick about this. I, I'm not quite sure. I, I may run a sprinkler on my orange and my satsuma tree because they're so large. There's no way that I can cover them to protect them, but I have a couple of young lemon trees that are full of bloom and little lemons, and I am going to cover those to try to protect them. My amaryllis are starting to bloom. And so I'm going to put a blanket over those. I have a large bed of amaryllis, and it'll sure kill those, the, the blossoms. It won't, it won't hurt the bulb, but it'll kill the foliage on it. Okay, while this meat is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and start putting things in my pot, my vegetables. So I'm going to move the camera over. I'm going to add my tomatoes first to my pot. If you watched my last video that I did, which was the pork roast and the strawberry cake, you know that my microphone died in the midst of all of that. And so I have, have a new mic, and I hope that it will serve me well. I have been so frustrated with all of that. I guess maybe I burn up the receiver. I would leave it plugged up 
and I think it may have burned it up. But anyway, this is a different system that I have now, so hopefully it's going to work well for me. Okay, I'm going to turn my large pot on to start cooking. And the first thing I think that I will add to that will be my package of butter beans. Because, of course, you know, <clears throat> these are blanched, but they're not cooked fully. So, that and my peas, I'm going to go ahead and add. These are pink eye peas, which I just absolutely love. They're so good. I have two packages of those, and I want every one of them. Those peas are too hard to come by to throw them in the trash. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I still have my cough from my COVID, but at least I do feel pretty much normal other than just coughing. I want my meat very crumbled. I don't want big chunks of it. I want it to be really crumbled up in my soup. I'm going to go ahead and add my carrots to this because they're raw. It's carrots that I sliced up. Okay, I think my beef is done. And so what I'm going to do is spoon it up and strain it. I don't want any grease or excess grease, I should say. So I'm just going to drain it as best I can and add that to my large pot. I could put this in a colander pan and drain it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to try to drain it this way. Okay, I think that has pretty well got the meat out of my pot. I'm going to turn the heat down to medium on that. I'm going to add the two packets of onion soup mix to this. And I'm going to cut up a couple of onions, maybe three onions, I don't know. But I'm going to chop up some onions to go in. Okay, I have peeled three onions. They're kind of small. Two of them are small. This one's kind of a medium. Uh, but these are just yellow onions. And this is what I'm going to, I'm going to quarter these and put them in my food processor and chop them and put them in my soup. Okay, and now I'm going to chop those. Okay, you can see um, how I've chopped them. It's chopped medium to fine. And so I'm going to add this now to my soup mixture. has been cooking for probably two hours. I've just been letting it simmer. And so I have peeled eight potatoes and I'm cubing those to go in it. I like mine cubed small. Okay. That's eight potatoes cubed up and ready to go into my soup. I'll add these to it. And then I will add the rest of them. Stir that and I'll let that cook for a little bit. I have not added any seasoning yet other than the Lipton's onion soup mix 
but I will season it when I get all of my vegetables in. That is smelling so good. It's making me really hungry. Okay, I have just put in the okra. Uh, my camera was shut off. I didn't realize that. But I have put the okra in, and I'm going to let this cook. I've turned my heat to a medium-low, and I'm just going to keep it stirred occasionally and let this cook until the potatoes and the okra get done. And then I will add the cream corn, and that won't take but just a few minutes to cook. And then I'll season it, um, and then... I'll jar it up and show you how I process my, my soup in the jars. You hear my little girl over there? She's, uh, she sees something outside, don't you, Lily Bell? You need to be quiet. Okay, well, I'm going to let that cook, and I'll be back to add the corn in just a few minutes. Okay, I'm going to add my corn now because my potatoes are just about done. And so I'm going to add this cream corn. This is the best stuff in the world. My family loves it. My grandson, Joseph, man, I'm telling you, he could eat his weight in this cream corn. Bless his heart, he loves it to death. Oops, gosh. Well, that was real, real good. Okay, stir that in, feels like it may be trying to stick just a little bit there. Okay, and now I'm going to salt this, and I'm salting it to my taste. It'll take quite a bit because that's a lot of soup. What I will do, <clears throat> excuse me. What I will do is I will take this up into jars and then I will do, I will process my jars in a water bath because my food is cooked. It's totally done. I'm going to taste that for the salt. Mmm. That is just right. I can't believe I nailed it the first time. Now I'm going to add some pepper to this and I want to Stir that in really good. Oh my goodness, that looks delicious. I'm going to dip up some in a bowl. And I want to try this for you before I go any farther with this. <clears throat> I want to Eat some of this and see if it's going to be uh, what seasoned and tasting the way I want it to before I jar it. That is really good. I think my potatoes are not quite done. Mm, well, that one was. Let me try this carrot. The carrot is done. Let me try another potato. That potato's done. That is so good. Okay, well, I'm going to set that aside, and I'm going to go ahead and take up my soup. I'm going to jar it and get my water ready to um, do a water bath. Mm, gosh, that's heavy. Whew. Okay, okay, I have my cannon pot and I've already put water in it and I put it on high for this to start getting hot and so now I'm going to jar up the soup and then I will do a water bath so this is the way that um, I do mine I want to fill it so just about half an inch from the top. I'm doing this in quart jars. <clears throat> I probably will put some up in pints also because for just me, a pint is just about the right amount 
that I have for a meal. Of course, you want to have your jars. I've got that one too full. Uh, you want to have your jars washed. You want them real clean. You don't want any kind of debris in those. And I will do seven. I think my canner will probably only hold seven quarts. My brother, bless his heart, he loved homemade vegetable soup. I lost him seven months after my mother passed away. He was my only brother. He was my oldest sibling. He was the oldest in our family. And so, of course, he was very special to us girls. There were three of us girls. And uh, we were raised kind of hard. You know, like I think I've said it before, we were poor, but we didn't realize we were poor. Of course, I'm still kind of poor. I'm not exactly what you would consider wealthy <laughs> by any means. But um, I have a, you know, my life is good. But... Um, we worked hard. My daddy was a logging contractor, and he worked so, so hard, but so did my mother. Uh, she was a homemaker, and she was a seamstress. She sewed for people uh, in the public. She sewed for the public uh, out of our home and was a, an excellent seamstress, and so us three girls learned all of us learned to sew because of mama sewing um, she actually let me sit at her sewing machine and start sewing when I was five years old so I used to sew also for the public but then I, I got to the place that I was not wanting to do that it was so much pressure on me because I'd wait to the last minute to get my stuff done and so that's when I decided I was going to become a hairdresser. I had always loved doing hair. And I thought, you know, I, I want to go to school to do this. And so that's what I did. And I've done it now. March the 6th was 38 years that I've been a hairdresser. So I, I have always loved it. I think I'm going to have to add some more tomato to my soup because... It's really starting to get thick. But what I was going to say when I was talking about my mama and daddy, um, we always, my daddy always, always grew a really big garden. And so we canned vegetables. We canned everything. You didn't let anything go to waste in that garden. And the worst thing of all was butter beans because... He didn't believe in pulling up the plant and, and getting the bean off. Oh, no. And he wanted the beans gathered when they were real young. So then you've got to fill the butter beans to make sure they filled out enough that you can shell them. Of course, they were delicious. But um, we would pick those, and then they would put on another crop, and we would pick another crop. And it seemed like his butter bean rows would be a mile long. Oh, my gosh. And it'd be so hot. You'd be out there trying to pick them and hot, hot, hot. But anyway, I miss those days, believe it or not. And I really miss not having my own garden. <clears throat> Excuse my watchdog. Okay, now I'm going to wipe the rim of the jar you want it to be clean you don't want any soup or anything that you're putting up you don't want it to be on the rim of your jar because then your jar won't seal so make sure that all of that is nice and clean i guess i should be showing that when i'm doing that you want to wipe the rim and make sure there's no no residue at all on that rim. Okay, I've got all of them wiped, and so now I'm going to place a lid on each of these. And normally, when you're canning, um, you would put these in hot water to soften the seal. But since my soup is hot, and I'm going to put this in a water bath, I'm not doing that. I'm just applying the lids. And you want it to be 
tight. I've got to have a towel. These are really hot to handle. Okay. You can reuse these rings as long as they're not rusted. Uh, you can see the inside of this one because I've used it before. But that's not rusted. But after I use it this time, then I'll have to discard this because it won't be any good for a third time. You also want to make sure, just like this, if you can see this right there, it has a little indentation where it's gotten bent. I don't want to use that because it may not seal properly. So I'm going to put that one to the side and I will get one that's not bent any. Whew, that's hot. I can't get a grip with this towel. Okay. All right, now I'm going to place these in my water. I've got my water getting hot. You can see that it's already starting to bubble. And so I will place these. And I may have too much water. I may have to take some of this water out. These tongs are great for canning to take your jars in and out of the hot water. I will have to take out some of this water because it's going to overflow in my pot. I'm still going to have to dip out some. Whoa! Not like that. Move, Lily. Move so you won't get no hot water on you, baby. My Lily is such a mama's girl. She is just... She likes to be right where I'm at. I usually would always put them in their crate when I would be videoing and I I finally thought I'm not doing that to them anymore. They're they're pretty good about not making too much of a fuss or too much of a racket when I'm trying to video, but they're pretty obedient. Now Paisley, she she's probably lying in her crate. I don't know. I don't see her right now, but She's probably in her crate. She'll light the front door and she'll look out the door and see what's going on. Okay, now this is the seventh jar. And as you can see, it is full. It holds seven quarts. I'm not even going to put a lid on this. I'm going to let this cook. When it comes to a full boil, I will leave it for about 15 or 20 minutes. And then I will take those out. When they start cooling, then they will seal and you'll hear the lid pop. I'm going to get a, a little bit more tomatoes to go in this soup to give it more juice. Okay, my uh, timer has gone off. It's been 20 minutes. And so I'm going to take them up now and set them on the towel. You want to make sure whenever you take your jars up that you have the tongs at the bottom of the uh, rim of your jar there to make sure that it gets a good hold. Otherwise, you could drop it and break it. And then you would be lost all of your soup or whatever else it is that you're canning. Okay, that is seven quarts. And so now I'm going to put some in some pint jars. I have added some tomatoes to this to uh, give it a little bit more juice. I'm not sure if if this will only hold seven quart, uh, excuse me, seven pints or if it will hold eight pints. I can't remember. Did you hear that? One of them already sealed. That sound that you heard, that's what that was. My jar was My sealing. I didn't think it would seal quite that fast, but that's okay. Okay, that's two, four, six, seven pints. And I'm going to clean the rim and see if it will hold seven or if it would possibly hold eight. Make sure you get your rim cleaned because if it is not clean, it will not seal and you will lose your product that's in the jar. There went another one. You also want to make sure 
when you are putting your ring on, make sure, just like that, okay, it went into place, and then you twist it just as tight as you can get it. You want to make sure that these have never been used before, because if you have used them once, they're not going to seal a second time. All right, I have all of these with the lids and the rings on them, and so now I'm going to put these in the water bath as well. I believe this will hold eight. In fact, I think it might hold two more. Boy, I tell you, these quarts are just sealing left and right. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can squeeze this one in, and I can, so I can get another pint in there. Okay, and the water is over the lids, and so I'm gonna set my timer now. For 20 minutes and at the end of 20 minutes I'll take those up and all and of the quarts have sealed with the exception of two so far you can see the way the tops look this one has not sealed and this one has it sealed see it has a bubble on top these have already sealed so it sucks the lid down the vacuum that's in the jar so uh, when these get cooled what I will do is I will date I will I will write on here what it is of course I could look at it and tell but I always write what's in my jars and I, I put the date on it so um, it's going really well and you can see where it started to stick to the bottom of my pot it would have very very easily scored but it didn't and that's what's important and so i have this much left over and i'm going to take and put this in a bowl put it in the refrigerator and i will have that possibly tomorrow night when it is really cold outside hear that okay i have taken up all of the pints they they process for 20 minutes i have wound up with seven quarts and two four six eight nine pints and then I also had this much left over that I will eat. Uh, I won't can that, I will eat it. So I think that was pretty good for an afternoon's work. So when these all seal and cool down, then I will label my lids and date them and we'll enjoy those. And if and something should go wrong and um, I pray that it doesn't, and I, I, I don't think that it will, but, you know, I think we should always make preparations. I really feel so bad for the people in Ukraine. You know, it just, it's heartbreaking, and I'm so thankful that we live in a free country, but I also think the Lord expects you to make preparations for your future, not that I'm expecting a holocaust, that's not what I'm saying. But, you know, I mean, the prices of everything are skyrocketing, and who knows what we're going to be facing. So, at least with this, I can pop open a jar, and I've got a meal. So, I, I may be doing some other canning, uh, some other things a little later, and if I do, I'll video that and show you how I do it. But if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you would, and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy my videos. Click on the bell and so you'll get notified when I post a new one and leave me a comment. I appreciate your support so much. And this is Bebop saying, may the Lord bless and keep you and your family safe. And until we meet again, I hope you have a great day. And I hope to see you really soon. Thanks and I'll see you soon. Bye.